Hello everyone, welcome back once again to 15th Dimension. Today, I've got another tutorial for you guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining a sort of trick I discovered about New Tone and a way you can create multiple vocal harmonies from one vocal take. Now, admittedly, this is a bit of a hack. Um, it's not going to sound as good as a real harmony would, obviously. But recording another take is not always an option. So in addition to that, it can also create some cool effects if you play around with it. So what I've got here is I've got a little project set up. I've got a piano part and a vocal part. Have a listen. I'm singing this to show you how to make harmonies. I'm yeah. <laughs> um... So what we're going to do is we're going to take this vocal recording, which I have routed to this mixer track right here, uh, and mixed to taste, and we're going to create a harmony for it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a new instance of New Tone. If you don't have New Tone, you can get it from the Image Line shop. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and then take your original recording and drag it in. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway. Now, what we've got here, if you don't know how new tune works, it is essentially mapping out the notes uh, that it's detected the vocal recording is singing. Now, how does this help us? Well, new tone is normally used as a vocal pitch correction plugin. And in theory, this technique I'm about to show you will work with any uh, sort of auto tuning or pitch enhancement plugin uh, if used correctly but I'm going to be using New Tone for the purposes of this video. So after that, click this little button that says Slave Playback to Host. And what this does is that it, whenever in the main playlist you hit play, I'm seeing this like that, it will also play whatever is in the New Tone interface, in this case, the recording. So what we've essentially got is the whole thing doubled. I'm singing this to show you how to make harmony. And let me increase the volume on that real quick. So now we're hearing both at the same time. And by doing so, we can now use this new tone and layer the harmony part on top of it by adjusting the notes accordingly. First thing I like to do is center and bring the variation down. Now this isn't going to sound natural by itself, but layered on top of the original recording, it'll create a sort of more blended together recording, and it won't be as noticeable uh, that you've pretty much taken all human attributes out of the vocal recording, as you'll see. I'm singing this to show you how to make harmony. It doesn't sound very natural but playing both at the same time, it won't be noticeable. Now all that's left to do is to write out your harmony part in new tone, like I have I'm done here. And it's going to sound, like I said before, strange by itself. But in just a second, you'll see how the two come together. All right, now that I've done that, I'll play both at the I'm same time. I'm singing this to show you how to make harmonies. Not bad, right? Let me just adjust this real quick. I'm singing this to show you how to make harmonies. Check that out. By itself, I'm this to show you how to make harmony. sounds very unnatural. Together, I'm singing this to show you how to make harmony. It actually works quite well. Now, the final step would be to drag this out of New Tone and then disable New Tone because you don't want that playing uh, along with the host just randomly. Um, and then route your harmony part. Actually, let me read in that. Sorry guys, I accidentally stopped the recording right there. I don't know how that happened. Uh, anyway, moving along, moving right along. Uh, I was going to rename this to Har 
not Herm, Harmonies, like so, and route that to a mixer track. And then, obviously, it's up to you how you want to mix that, but... I'm singing this to show you how to make harmony. And then, really, you're all set. Something interesting to do is actually to repeat this process several times, and you can end up with even three or four part harmonies. So hopefully this will prove helpful, or maybe at least give you some interesting ideas to try it on your own. If this tutorial helped you out at all, uh, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you want to be on the lookout for more, you can always hit that subscribe button as well. So other than that, I think that's it. I will see you guys in the next video.